how to find your true nature. So quite often we're out in the world and we're in our head and we're projecting out into the world. And I invite you now to rest back, drop down into the body. Become aware of the breath, just rising and falling in the body. Maybe bring your attention to the uh, center of your chest. And at this point, we've dropped out of our heads a little and we're more connected with our heart. And then I invite you to rest back in the body. And there's something there, something that's always there. Something that's effortless prior to the mind. That's our true nature. There's awareness. of just this. There's an awareness of just being. There's an awareness that this is who you are prior to the mind. In this space, it's wordless. That's who you are, but it gets labelled with your name and you're invited to be a person in the world. So it gets identified, this natural state of awareness gets identified as a person. So the name gets layered on top. It's as if you're a blank sheet of paper and somebody invites you to call your awareness, that blank sheet of paper, Colette, Jack, John, Claire. So insert your name. So your pure awareness, a blank piece of paper, and somebody tells you that you are, put your name there. And then they tell you, you're a little girl, you're a little boy, you're um, my baby, whatever you were told growing up. And that's how the identity is formed. The identity, this awareness gets called, gets named, a name. And then a story is attached to this awareness because this is who you are. So when they tell you you are X, Y, or Z, all that identity is mixed up with this. But this is awareness. This is prior to the mind made identity. So this is prior to that. And that is who you are. That's why it's so easy and so simple. And when it's people recognize it, that's all they've ever been. That's who you are. But we build on top of this awareness, effortless being, just what you are before you do anything. This awareness is named this awareness is given a story. A story is developed by the mind and the body and it's identified. The body-mind gets identified as this awareness. So you bring yourself back to just awareness 
you're aware. Sitting here now, there is awareness. Prior to the mind, prior to thoughts, you are this awareness. So you focus instead of out into the world, the focus is open and back and resting as you are. It's that simple. You just rest as you are without doing anything. And that's why it's called self-realization because you realize the self. You go, oh, I thought this was Colette. I thought this was your name. But this is prior. This is your true nature and it just gets identified as a person and identified as a body but you are prior to all of that as the other person we are one rather than the separate person looking to be one with everything I think I got that a bit mixed up I was still identified as a separate person wanting to be one, a separate person wanting to be present, a separate person wanting to wake up. But actually, we already are awake. We are this awareness that everything else is born out of is who you are, awareness, the blank piece of paper. And everything is arising in this awareness, the different vessels, the different people, but they're still all just awareness. Hope this helps.